Hey guys, welcome back to How to Build a Blog with Laravel. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis. You can call me Alex. And in this video, we're actually finishing up the crud for our post controller. And that's by finalizing it with the destroy method, okay? We've already learned how to create new resources. We've learned how to read them. We've learned how to update them. We just barely finished that part. And now the last thing we need, we need to do to finish up our crud is simply delete or destroy the objects. And that's what we're doing in this video. It's pretty straightforward, but um, there's just a few little gotchas that we wanna go over. So I'll see you after the break. All right, guys, welcome back. So um, it's time to finally finish up the crud, and um, let's just go ahead and dive in. We're gonna be working on the, on the destroy method today, and um, it's actually pretty simple from the controller aspect, but there's a few little tricks I wanna show you guys um, on how to be successful with this. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've just opened up our project here. So we're gonna start with an open project. We're in our blog folder right here, and let's just start by um, taking a look at our controller. So let's head on over to the controllers and our post controller. And as we scroll down this, you can see we've got all of these functions in place now. The last thing we have is the destroy method, and we want to delete the object, okay? Um, let's take a look over at our terminal here, and let's do um, php artisan route list. I know we do this a lot, guys, but I just like to, I'm using this for reference um, so you guys can see what's going on as far as what control, what uh, methods we have left. So we have our post.destroy, that's the name of the named route. And then you can see the URI for that is posts slash and then the ID number for the post. That's the URL we'll be going to. I mentioned this in the last video, but if you'll notice, all three of these URLs here are exactly the same. Um, all three of them are exactly the same. And the only difference is the HTTP method used to access them. So if we do a, p a put request, we're going to go to post.update. If we do a get request, we're gonna to go to post.show. And if we do a delete request, we're gonna to go to uh, post.destroy. And this is kind of why it's a good, um, this is basically why we're able to, uh, how we're able to kind of protect these because a general user can't submit a a delete request, for example. So um, it kind of protects our destroy method. Um, all right, so what we need to do is we need to tell Laravel that when we go to that page, we need to do it with the delete method in order for all of this to work. So um, let's go ahead and let's actually just start off by setting that up and let's go into our view. So if we go to resources and then views, we can come down to posts and um, let's see, we're gonna be accessing the delete method from the, because delete, if you think about it, delete doesn't have a forward facing page. It's a controller, strictly a controller method. The way we access the delete is by showing a single um, blog post. And when we show that single blog post, we have a button for delete. Um, let's go ahead and just actually boot up the server. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm uh, open a new tab here, PHP artisan serve. This will launch the new server. Let me pull a tab in from my other screen here and um, we're gonna go to localhost 8000 and then we're going to go to um, posts and then from here we can see all of our posts. Let's just choose one of these. I actually wanna delete these anyway. So let's take a look at some of these testing ones I did. And if we click view, you can see that this is post.show. We're on the post.show page where we just have a static way. We can kind of see what the blog post is. We can have some meta over here, which right now is just two little forms. We'll add to that in, in, a, in the coming videos. And we have our button that takes us to edit, which seems to work. And then we also have the button that would take us to delete. But if we click this right now, it actually just takes us back to our post page because this button is set up only to do a get request. It cannot do a delete method. Or a, a, yeah, it can't, it's only set up for a get method, HTTP method and not a delete HTTP method. So when you click it, we're going to the post slash five, which if we look at our URLs is exactly where we want to go for delete post.destroy should be post slash five. The difference is that, that that button is sending us as a get request, which means it just goes back to post.show, which is the same page we're already on. And we want to send it as a delete request so that it goes and actually um, does the uh, destroy method. Okay. So this is the button we want to we want to mess with right here. So what we're going to do, let's come back over to Sublime, and we're going to find that button in here, and that's this one right here. You can see HTML link route post dot destroy. Okay, so there's two ways that you can make a meth um, a send this request with a delete method. One is using AJAX, 
and the second is using um, basically a form. Now for simplicity, I'm gonna show you guys the form method, um, just because Ajax has all sorts of other gotchas mixed into it, and we'll be doing, I'm gonna do some videos on Ajax in the future because Ajax is critical for the modern web developer. That's what this video, that's what this uh, um, channel's all about, is basically getting you set up as a modern web developer, and Ajax is important for that. However, in this case, um, we're not gonna do it that way just because it's a little bit trickier and I'm gonna show you kind of the simpler way to do it. Even though it seems weird, it's gonna be simpler. And that's basically we need to create a form with one item in the form and that's the button, okay? So we're gonna have a form within a form and actually I'm, oh, we don't actually have a form here so it should work fine. Forms within forms with Laravel don't seem to work very well. Um, you'd have to do a manual form is what we'd have to do. Um, but anyway, we can do it here. Forget I said that, that's confusing. Just try to avoid having forms within forms on Laravel. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so um, let's see here. So we're going to open up a new form. So we're gonna do, oh man, this it catches you every time. We need an extra line here because my sublime autocorrect, autofill um, always gets messed up when it's right above another blade, to, blade item. Okay, so you guys already know how to do this. We're gonna do form open. And then we're going to, um, let's see, form open. We, let's take a look at the syntax here. I'm gonna, there's a website I really, really like, guys, called Laravel Recipes. Laravel-Recipes, I'll link it in the description. And um, this actually allows you, down here you can see, you can actually look at, it has really good syntax for all these, these form helpers. So if we go to opening a new HTML form, you can see this is how you would open it. Um, the difference here is that his syntax is a little bit wrong because this is built with Laravel 4. This website's Laravel 4, not Laravel 5. But um, all of this works the same as far as just know that you have to do the bang bang. So you do uh, curly braces bang bang. All right, so um, open just accepts a URL of options, okay? So that's what I was trying to remember is if there was a first parameter or if it was just goes straight into the options. And um, in this case, it looks like it just goes straight into an array of options and then you just pass in whatever options you want. So we can send it to a controller action, we can send it to a controller route, which is a named route, which is what we're gonna do. And you can also specify a method. It tells you somewhere, different, different methods right here. You can do method, and then this is a get method, or a post, or a delete, and so forth. That's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so back over to Sublime. We're gonna do open, and this is where we wanna open up an array inside of here. You can open an array with just the, I like to do the square brackets, but you can also do this. Either one will work. Okay, so I just like to do square brackets, it's a little bit cleaner. Um, and here we're going to say method. Well, let's actually start, it doesn't really matter what you do, but just for readability, I'm gonna actually send it to the route first. So we're gonna send it to a route. And then we need to do another array inside of this because the route accepts an array. It accepts, first of all, the name of the array is the first item in the array, and the second item in the array is the, um, um, since we're passing in a parameter that needs to go in the URL, it accepts the parameters in the order that they're gonna be in the URL. So you can have multiple here, we only need one parameter. So basically here, inside of the array, um, so keep in mind, this whole thing's an array, and then for the route method, for this route parameter, it accepts it's an array for itself, okay? I wanna make sure that makes sense. All right, the first item in the route array is the name of the route that we're going to, which is post.destroy. That corresponds over here to the name of this route. The second item is basically what do you want in this parameter here? That's the second item of this array. So we do a comma, and then we're going to give it post ID. All right, and that just pulls because we already have a post currently here, so it's gonna go to the current ID for this post because you're clicking destroy on this on this page, so you want that one to be destroyed. Okay, so that's what we've got here. Um, and then the second item, make sure you're outside of the, the second array now and you're back in the main array. Let's do a comma and then we're gonna do a method and set method equal to destroy, okay? And again, or not destroy, uh, delete, like that. Um, again, that corresponds here. We're trying to access this method. We set it to go to this URL. We already set up this parameter. Now we need to set up this HTTP method, the delete, okay? So that should now, when we submit this button, it should submit it as a delete method, okay? So let's um, go ahead and at the bottom here, let's go ahead and just close our form 
like that. And then this here needs to change a little bit too because we want this to be a submit button, all right? We made this mistake, I made this mistake in a couple videos ago, remember where I just made a normal button? You need to have a submit button. So we're going to, I'm gonna delete this in a second, I'm just using it as a reference. Um, this up here is what we're going, uh, we're gonna delete, oh my gosh. We're gonna delete this in a second, but I'm just using it as a reference here. So we're gonna do form submit. This creates a submit button. Um, the first item of the submit is the value you want the submit of the button. So in this case, it's delete. That's what we actually want the button to say. And then the second item is a bunch is an array of all the rest of the parameters. So if you want to add classes, if you want to add um, anything like that, that's the second. That's all inside of the array. So let's go ahead and add our class. We're going to have class equal to the same thing that it's equal to up here. So I'm just going to copy it like that. And that's actually all we need because um, we don't need to specify the, the route or the parameters or anything like that because it's already set up in the when we open the form, okay? So we can actually delete this HTML link route now, like that. And now we've got a mini form inside of here. And when we click this button, it's now a, a submit button to submit this form that we've created to our post.destroy with that parameter and with the delete method, which should send us to the delete. Let's go ahead and just click it. We're gonna get a blank screen because we haven't done anything in the controller yet. Um, so we're just gonna get a blank screen, maybe an error, I'm not sure what happens. I think if you just have, don't have anything in your controller, you just get a blank screen. So we'll probably just get a blank screen, but let's try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and um, move on over to Laravel. We're gonna refresh this just to make sure the code takes effect. All right, and then um, we can come over here and click delete. Sure enough, it goes to our uh, post five. So it went to the same page and we got a blank page, which indicates that we're not back on the show. And if we weren't, we're not on put because if we were on put, then it would have redirected us. So we're definitely on the delete here. And um, that means we're going to the right place. Now we just need to set it up in the controller to actually delete the method and we're done. All right, so that was actually the hard part. I said there were a few gotchas in here. That's the gotcha is to know that you need to create a little form around that button to make it send as a delete method. Um, if the other way to do it basically is to hard code it a little bit, what you would do is you could just create a normal button or a link like we did before, like an A link, and you would just access this with jQuery or JavaScript, um, and then you would um, submit an Ajax request that would be, um, and you set when you're set doing the Ajax request, you could actually set uh, manually set the uh, the HTTP method you want to use, and you would just set it to delete in the Ajax method. We're not gonna do that here because I feel like that's more complicated than it needs to be, but it would be cool because you could delete it and you could just maybe make a little spinner here, a spinner icon showing that it's currently be being deleted. And then when the, it comes back and says that it's been deleted, you could do a success message or something. But that's a little trickier for what we wanna do in this beginner video. So this is gonna work for our purposes. And a lot of times this is the way I do it. I actually don't worry about the Ajax for deleting very often. Okay, so that's all we need for our, we're actually done with our view now, so we can actually close all that up. Let's just head over to our controller and we'll be done. Um, okay, so we're in HT, um, app, HTTP, controllers, um, post controller. Come on down to the bottom, we're gonna do destroy. And you can see that destroy accepts the ID, which is no big surprise, we passed it in the last thing. This is how we're gonna find our item. So, first things first. What do we do? We're gonna find, just like we have in everything else before, we're gonna find post, and we're gonna set it equal to post find, so that we can find the item that we're, you know, that we're trying to delete. We need to have access to that item first. Okay, now what we need to do is we just need to take that item, we can take our post, and then we're going to, there's a method within all of our eloquent models that's just delete, and if you just do delete like that, it's going to delete that item, no big surprise. And then the final thing that we would do after we've finished re, uh, deleting this is that we could redirect this, okay? So we could return um, a redirect and uh, we would redirect it to probably, since we, we weren't gonna redirect it back to the show page because it's not gonna exist anymore. So we'll just redirect it back to the index, okay? So post index, which if we come over here, yep, it's post.index. So I'm sending it to the route posts dot index and there's no parameter needed for post dot index as we see up here it's just posts so um, that should be all that we need the last thing we actually might want is a um, uh, we're gonna want to do a session flash so let's do that here real quick session flash we're gonna do a success message 
and we'll just say um, the post was successfully deleted and that's all okay don't forget your I always forget to do when I do this flash messages for some reason I get so excited and then I uh, to like test it out and then I forget to try it okay so now we can simply um, try it out so let's go and refresh our page in case we're on the page we're on post number five okay so we're gonna go ahead and delete this it's gonna take us back to the the main page and then we're gonna make sure that number five isn't there anymore so we'll look by the ID number okay so time to click the moment of truth Dom roll delete and it didn't work okay why did it not work let's take a look at this oh I didn't save my controller that's why so you can see here this dot means I didn't save the controller so let's go ahead and save it let's try this again all right back refresh here we go, delete, let's do this, one, two, three, delete. Success, it says the post was successfully deleted, and if we come on down, one, two, three, four, number five is missing, and we have number six. So it is no longer in the database, it's been deleted. Um, you guys, this is working, let's do it one more time, let's just get rid of these testing titles. We'll do edit, um, cancel here, we actually wanted to go to the view, and then delete. Sure enough, it deletes, and now number six is gone. So you guys get the idea here. Um, our thing, our little uh, back end here is working really, really good. Now it's time to start working on authentication. Um, I'm, I think we're gonna dive right into authentication as the next thing, guys. Um, we might hit up a few little features first. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do first is a couple front end things. So that'll be one or two more videos to get um, to fill in basically fill these in and then to show a front end version of our posts and then we'll dive into the authentication and actually have a user system where you can actually log in and do that kind of stuff which I know is probably the most requested feature that you guys have been asking for. So that's coming up guys. Um, we're all done with CRUD. Good job guys. You've learned how to create, read, update, delete controllers um, or resources. I mean now we've done our resources um, URIs as well so our routes are all set up too. So you can now replicate this same concept that we've done over the last five to 10 videos. Um, this CRUD will help. This is gonna be the fundamental thing of any app we do. Let's so say you're doing a to-do list. You're gonna have tasks, all right? And tasks are gonna be a resource. You're gonna need to be able to create new tasks, edit them, delete them, update them, um, and stuff like that. So you're gonna be going through those same four processes for everything. And so if you start thinking about whatever you wanna do, whatever great app you have in your brain, and you wanna get it actually, you wanna use Laravel to make it happen, you can now do that, right? We haven't learned authentication yet, but with that's coming up. But basically with CRUD, like that's one of the most powerful things that you can learn is what we've been doing over the last five to eight videos is CRUD and um, being able to you know manage resources because that's the fundamental concept behind every single app is being able to do that. We've learned to write and read from databases. So this is a huge milestone for you guys. Pat, give yourselves a pat on the back and um, we'll continue on. We're gonna add some cool features and I'm gonna also talk to you about how you can go back and add features now. Let's say you wanna change your database a little bit and add a new field in the database. I'm gonna go through and show you that too in the next few videos, but um, you've already learned basically the fundamental concept. So I'm probably gonna speed up the next few videos as well because um, since we've kinda gone over these now, it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to keep up now that you got this down really, really well, okay? Keep up the good work, guys. You guys are doing awesome. I'll see you in the next